Hey guys, it's Friday night here in the Philippines, so we're going to go ahead and kick off the weekend with our free-for-all weekend video. And as I mentioned in the last video, we are going to take a look at some modern-day pickups. Uh, I would say we have stuff from 2008 and newer here. I brought up five Dodges, five Chevys, and five Fords. So we have a little bit for everyone. Except for the JDM truck guys. Sorry guys, don't have any JDM trucks to bring out. I didn't pick up any Nissan Titans or Toyota Tundras or anything like that yet. So we'll have to stick with the big three from America for this pickup day. So anyways, the one you have in front of you here are two of my Mopars. Love this paint scheme. They kind of correspond beautifully together. This guy came out first. This is your 2500 4x4 off-road came out as a hobby exclusive um and it's really cool with all the accessories on it as you can see it has the extended rear bumper and it has the gas cans and your spare tire so pretty cool and your roll bar with the lights actually this one doesn't have the lights so sorry about that the lights are on the front here Front valence panel, front brush guard, very small brush guard though with fog lights. So this one's kind of a dresser. When I say dresser, it's just kind of dressed up and probably wouldn't be so uh, efficient when it comes to off-road use though. Especially like this brush guard really doesn't save much. It's more like a push bar. Uh, then if you did try to push anything, you'd probably bust these fog lights. So... Yeah, as I said, it's more of a looker than anything else, but does look really good. Lifted suspension, as you can see what Greenlight does with their lifted trucks, this is what they do on all of them whenever they're raised up. You have these plastic extensions that they put on the bases, so pretty cool. And then even nowadays, they all have like this little revision in the chassis, little slot, whatever you want to call it where the hitches usually go so that's kind of cool too especially if you have another like truck you want to take the hitch off of a lot of them have these little holes where you can put the hitch and speaking of hitch that's what's cool about the dually drivers they come with hitches on them a lot of castings do nowadays like a lot of their wagons and such a lot of trucks they come with the hitches so you can add like the campers and the little flatbed trailers that they sell separately so pretty cool that they do this on a lot of them. This trailer came from another like hitch and tow set. Cannot remember exactly where. I think it had a, like a 76 Chevy van or something like that with it maybe. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just kind of use it for my neutral trailer. I put on a bunch of cars. It's usually in my diorama here hauling some junker or something but this setup looks pretty cool with the dually the 2500 or 3500 dually and then the 2500 uh crew cab um off-road pickup looks really good towing the dually towing this crew cab so that's why i had him out here that's kind of like one of my favorite truck setups that i had for today so it looks really cool um now we do have another dually from the dually drivers series and it is another dodge uh unfortunately i don't have no stock looking dodge or ford i mean chevy or ford uh duallys only the dodges i have a couple of chevy tow trucks but not any like stock crew cab like 3500s same thing goes with the ford i don't have any f-350s or anything like that but this one's really cool. It's the high country, I think is what they call it. And just very nice. Or maybe it's the big horn or something like that. I think the Chevy's the high country. Who knows? There's all kinds of these um, conversion companies out there, or option kits, and even some of them that used to be like Ford only now crosses over into like Mopar or Chevy or something like that. So who knows? I think this is the big horn edition though after seeing the back here that looks like a Ram maybe. 
Eh, who knows? But anyways, um, great looking truck. Love the black and silver two tone, and just loved the details on their dually drivers. They did a great job with these trucks. And once again, you got your hitch there, so you could switch it up, put the hitch. Or put a trailer on this guy towing something else, like a Cuda or something like that. And you know, by the way, I do have the package for that dually out here. Yeah, it is the Big Horn Harvest Edition. So, just wanted to double check that so I wasn't misinforming you guys. So, uh, since we're on Mopar, let's go ahead and finish out the Mopars. And another green light, actually all of our Mopars are green lights. All of our Fords are Auto Worlds, and then Chevy is going to be a mix of both. So today is like a green light and Auto World modern truck day. So here's an older one. This is pretty cool. It's Ram Law. It's like Dodge's own police department if there was like a Dodge neighborhood somewhere in America. This would be one of your vehicles. Nice looking truck. Kind of conservative with the stock stilly type rally wheels, the big push bar. Now this is a business style push bar, not like the one on the 2500. This is one that you're going to get the job done and not break a light or break your fog lights because they're misplaced. So this is a really cool truck. And uh, also has a little revision for the hitch. So... Do dig this one because I do have a matching Challenger that says Dodge Law, I think, is or Dodge Enforcement or something. So they look really cool together. Um, so great uh, little Dodge Police Department. Uh, if I had like a uh, diorama of like the police building, I could have it here next to Mr. Norm's. It'd fit perfect with a Dodge Police Department with truck and car. So... Let's move along to our last um, Dodge. And oh, by the way, this one came from the Hot Pursuit sets, but I don't remember what release. Now, this is another hobby exclusive, this uh, Sublime Green, but this is like a metallic Sublime. So a little bit modernized from like the classic si Sassy Grass or Sublime that we're used to seeing. Like, let me show you guys on this guy here very similar but not the same this is your back in the 70s well this is a 70 challenger this is our sassy grass subline now this is the more modernized of it has a little bit of metallic pearl in it a shade bit lighter but sometimes like the remixed sublimes may not be 100 percent accurate so this one may be the shade may be correctly with the shade but uh the metallic and pearl is new so i've never seen that in the old school muscle cars but it looks really good on this truck the black wheels with the white letter tires look really good so really nice one and as i said this would have been a hobby release back in i think it was 2016 something like that 2017 so very cool looking truck So that wraps it up for the Dodges. Now moving along to the Fords. All of these are from Auto World. And we'll put them out here in the front. So the first two that they released, this blue one, this is one of the first ones we've seen. And the beautiful thing about the Auto Worlds, the opening tailgate, and then you have your opening hoods with the detailed engines. And the body lines are pretty much spot on with the Outer Worlds. They look really good. Love this blue on the Ford truck. This is a really, really nice blue color. Um, and as you can see, the wheels on this one is gray. And then the this was A, maybe this is B, I don't know, or vice versa in that same release so this is the corresponding one this graphite gray or whatever they call it nice looking truck the gray is also pretty nice um and also gray wheels then your second release of these trucks 
were these two, red and white. We'll do the white one first. And then as you can see, the only difference here is they chrome the wheels, which I do like the chrome on the wheels much better. Looks much class, much more classier than the other one. The gray doesn't look bad, but these chrome ones really pop. They look really good. And then the only thing that I hated about this casting are these painted headlights. That looks really bad. They should have done a tampo or an acrylic lens. Uh, these are just too big just to paint silver. So that's the only downside of this casting. Besides that, they did a fantastic job on the Ford F-150. Now the corresponding one to this truck is red, well dark red. Then they released a bright red one afterwards, but I do not have it. Um, this dark red. This almost looks like the ultra red. Uh, I should have brought out the ultra red to show you guys because I have the ultra red from the first release and the second release. And uh, anyways, the ultra red paint is almost identical to this. So this could really be confusing. The difference, though, is the Ultra Red version of this one has a, I think, white base, or no, it's actually, I think, an Ultra Red base with a white interior. Um, but anyways, if you're just looking at it and you find this hanging on the pegs, you may think, wow, I found an Ultra Red, but not quite. Uh, you got to check out the interior and base to make sure they're white or red. Um, but yeah, this is a nice looking truck. The custom plates is tough. So really nice red color. I've always loved Ultra Red, so this stock Ford color is beautiful. Um, I forget what they call it, but it is probably one of my favorite dark reds on a stock modernized vehicle. So very pretty looking truck. Now the last one that I picked up, I got because it is... Very sporty looking. Uh, this is one of their last releases. It is all blacked out. And it kind of has the old boss like looking stripe on the side of it. But it's kind of ghosted in because it's matte black on this gloss black. They blacked out the wheels which looks really nice. On this model in particular. Once again, those headlights, though, I just can't get over that. They don't look so good. They should have done something with those. With acrylic or something. Tail lights are presentable. Still, red acrylic would have been better, but they're still tolerable. They're not as bad as the headlights. Trying to get that centered a little more so my hand doesn't keep... Messing up the camera's focus. XLT Sport is on the plate of this one. So as you can see, they even do like detail painting silver on the mirror to give it that reflective look. Even the little side lights there on the mirror. So they do a fantastic job with every detail in the truck. Just wish they would have done something about the headlights. And I think I've said this numerous times in my videos whenever I have these trucks. But I love the casting so I keep buying them. Uh, not as much as I was. Like I was going to get every release. But then I took a break after the first four. But then that black one just popped. I had to get it. So guys, now moving on to the Chevys, this one I'll bring out first because we just looked at it. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it, but this is also Auto World in a very nice metallic blue, almost like Ford's blue, uh, except the Ford blue is a little more bright. Uh, I think the Chevy is a little more, I don't know, I don't want to say classier, but with the metallic and stuff, it kind of is. The uh, Ford is more of like just a bright blue that looks good. It would look really good on a muscle car. This would too, but the Ford blue, there's just something about it that I really like. Um, this is your modern release of the Silverado, or the recent release, I should say. Uh, the 18 and newer, I think it is. And a really good looking truck. 
in this metallic blue with the chrome wheels. I wasn't a big fan of this front end at first, but it's kind of growing on me, so not too bad now. Um, at first, I couldn't stand it, but nowadays, it's not too bad. The truck is actually growing on me. So pretty cool. Yeah, I know somebody made a meme. It was kind of funny. The exhaust tips on these look like USB ports. So they had where a bumper sticker that said HDM1 and HDMI2 uh, over here. So it was kind of funny to see that because they do look like USB ports, these exhaust tips on these new trucks that Chevy's releasing. So cool truck. Now the one we haven't seen for a while is the red version. And here is your red version, which looks really good in the bright red. Um, so, good looking truck. And this one just says LTZ Z71. Forgot to look at the plate on the blue one, but I'm sure we did in the unboxing video. So, pretty nice looking truck. So that's what Auto World has for the Chevy truck for a modern one. And then the other ones are their square bodies for your classics. And then the 65 Suburban and so forth. Uh, so the uh, Fords are going to have to release a classic Ford, I think. And then they're going to have to do something with Dodge. I'm really surprised that they do not have a Dodge truck out yet. So... Uh, hopefully Auto World will give us something classic like an old Ram Charger or Power Wagon or something. Greenlight does a pretty good job on the Ram Charger. I'd like to see somebody just do a standard like pickup truck such as like a, I don't know, 70 Power Wagon or maybe even like the 80 Power Wagon or an 80 Short Box uh, Dodge D100, something like that. It would be great to see. So, moving along with Chevy, we have green lights left. And this is one of my favorites. This is the lifted, like, I think it's based on, like, the 16 Silverado. Let's see if we can see here. I think 15, I believe, is what it says here. Yeah, and this is, I think, also another hobby exclusive. And as you can see, it's lifted suspension, as I said before, on the Dodge. They have these plastic uh, little inserts. Well, not even inserts, plastic extensions that they use to lift it. This is another, like, show truck. As you can see, that push bar would not do much at all. It has some fog lights, so it would definitely light up the road pretty good for you. Blacked out hood. Gold band-aid stripes across the front fenders. Your roll bar in the bed. Just looks really good with the white paint and black wheels. Look really good on this. Usually I'm not a fan of black wheels, but on this truck in particular, it looks pretty good. So moving along, we have... A couple from Hitch and Toe series that I no longer have to... Actually, I do have the trailer for this one, I believe. This is the Supernatural Hitch and Toe set. As you can see, the Supernatural logo, I think, is on the top of the bed, or is it Chevrolet? It's Chevrolet. One of them, maybe this isn't the Supernatural then, because one of them had, like, the Supernatural logo on top of the bedside there. So maybe this is not it. Or maybe that's the trailer that had the logo. Who knows? But anyways, nice looking truck. This one is a 2016. Another 15 or 16, something like that. So really nice casting. Nice looking with the chrome wheels. And really nice details. So Greenlight did a great job on the last generation Chevy. The new generation on the other hand it's okay but I need to get another one so we can do a comparison of it in the auto world. I had one but I sold it because I didn't want the set the shell um, hitch and toe set that they had just wasn't into that so I sold it didn't even open it. Um, 
So I would like to get just a stock looking 2019, 2020 Silverado so we can compare it to the auto world. I know the, sh the green light had the acrylic headlights, which is going to be a selling point to me. I just like that extra detail, but sometimes it hinders the look of the car. Sometimes tampos are better. So as we can see, it's not so bad on the auto world with the just painted headlights on this one. They're not so big, and you have the grill breaking it up. So we'll have to see. We'll get an, uh, maybe a green light here and try to do a comparison over the next month or two. So this one is another hitch and tow. This is the first one that came with the enclosed trailer with the acrylic sides. So it kind of was like a display case trailer. Um, and this truck is the 2018, I believe. No, 16, huh? So it just has extra detailing in the grill. So nice looking truck though. Really nice looking truck. Actually, I really dig this one. That's why I kept it. The trailer I no longer have. I traded it for something, but kept the truck because I just really dig this truck the way it looks with the red paint, the black wheels. The front end looks really good on this one. Kind of like tinted windows too. Looks really nice. So this is one of this is my favorite, I think, of the like 2011 to 2017 style. Or 2015, 2016 style, something like that. But yeah, I do really, really like this truck. It's a very nice looking Chevy. So Guys, that's all of them that I brought out today. I have some other uh, modern trucks, but they are uh, like hitch and tow sets, something like that, that I do still have the trailer with. And I'm going to be doing a video on transporters in the next week or two. So I wanted to save them for that. Um, I know we've done a transporter comparison video before, but this one's just going to be doing an overall look at some transporters from... Green light, hitch and tow, Hot Wheels, team transport, etc. that I have in my collection. So I'm going to do that before the end of the month. We'll put it that way. Um, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I left the icon here on the right. And then please share the video. And then Monday we will be back to uh, unbox the latest well, not really the latest, but it was a recall unreleased Lamborghini from Mini GT. So it's a very rare item. It should have been released actually over a year ago, but I don't think they're ever going to release it. These just somehow found their way out of like China and some popped up on eBay and popped up here on our local uh, selling source. So... I bought one. I uh, also had the yellow one coming, but I don't know if I'll have that in time to unbox for you guys on Monday. We'll see. Maybe we'll do both together. Uh, but it is that gray um, LB Fighter Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador. So we'll take a look at that at the beginning of the week. Uh, so I left an icon here for you guys on the left for another truck video that I did a couple months back on some slam trucks. So take a look at that. And then have a great weekend, and I will see you come Monday. Thanks for watching.